Hello friends, it's Kathy Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm glad you could join me here today. I have a really fun little project idea for you with a very basic step out tutorial. This is made for the Frilly Funky Challenge blog and our challenge is Jewel Tones. Um, that is sponsored by the Funky Junkie Boutique and I'll um, caption both of those links below so that you can join in. I've used, um, I've created this fun little tag, it's kind of like a card folio, flip folio, um, it's fun, whatever you want to call it, and I've used the gorgeous Little Women collection. This is using, um, hold on, I'll bring in my supplies, this is using Graphic 45's gorgeous Little Women collection, and for this I use the 8x8 papers. I find that the um, size of the patterns is right for um, tags. So I've used the 8x8 collection. I've used the fantastic brand new Graphic 45 square tag and clock die, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And I've used the tags and pockets. I've used chipboard. And I also used um, the stickers from the 12 by 12 collection pack, but you can buy those separately. And I used the ephemera cards, and then I used Graphic 45 um, ivory square tags and ivory ATC tags. And you can get both of these at the Funky Junkie. In fact, you can get all of this at the Funky, and Jun Funky Junkie Boutique. Then from their ribbon selection, well this is one I had in my stash, it's kind of a sapphire blue with gold metallic edging, and this is a gorgeous black and ivory check that I got from the Funky Junkie Boutique. So now let's take a look at this little project. These little square tags are probably, well I love all the Graphic 45 tags, but these square ones are my particular favorites. These measure about four and a half inches wide, by about five and a quarter inches tall and uh, of course I've covered up the grommet with these beautiful flowers but what I've done is I've um, these new tag dies are phenomenal because before you used to have to trace around your tag onto your patterned paper now you can just die cut it and it leaves a perfect 1 8 inch margin all the way around so it makes it a snap it also cuts the hole to fit over the grommet so it's super easy this challenge was to use jewel tones and i went with these gorgeous blues and emerald greens from the little women collection also there's this lovely amber color some onyx so i brought in a lot of different jewel tones um, I die cut the background paper, I think this is Orchard House, and then used these little corner stickers from the sticker sheet. Then I die cut from the full bloom paper, and I don't know if you can see that, I'll hold it up, this gorgeous doily frame. I chose not to use the clock for this, instead I used this image of um, Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy from the 8x8 page. Here's a little pocket that I've decorated up and a little chipboard. This little key is from Funky Junkie and then I've just clustered flowers from my stash all around the cover. Ribbon closure. There's a half inch spine and the little step out tutorial will show you how to um, create that spine. So this unties and you open it out and it's just like a little mini flip folio. Over on this side, I've got this fun little pocket decorated with a tag. I used an AC, dressed up an ACT, ATC tag with chipboard, a charm from the Funky Junkie Boutique, a border sticker, and then just scraps that I fussy cut from the collection. This is one of the gorgeous ephemera cards, and of course you could write your greeting here. You could post a photo here of a special event. And then just a little chocolate treat, because hello, chocolate. Doesn't that brighten everybody's day? So this all goes in this little pocket. Then I created, I used another ephemera card to create this little flap. Um, decorated it up with a little cameo. This flips, here's another key, room to write another message or post another photo. And then I cut down this pocket and tag to be just this top shaped part and turned it into a pocket. 
And inside there, I created this itty bitty book because Little Women is all about literature. So this is about one and seven eighths by two and a half. Isn't it darling? This was really fun. And this is actually a bound book decorated with little scraps. And then inside I have, um, I created little pages from the book page, added stickers, fussy cut images, um, just to dress it up. Just kind of a fun little token sort of thing. So that goes in this pocket. And I don't have a tutorial for that, maybe someday, but this, this time I didn't have. I was cutting this challenge right down to the wire. So the back is also covered, and then you just tie the ribbon shut. I think this is such a fun way to present a gift card. Because the card becomes the gift. Um, so lots of fun. Stay tuned, and I'm going to have, these are just still photos, captioned still photos, telling you how to build this really fun tag folio base. So thanks for joining me. I'll have a supply list at the end of this video, and I'm going to...